guys, it's Huff. I'm back again and this is going to be a tag video. The wonderful Claire Gray, who has just finished her first year on YouTube. Congratulations. She's doing really, really well. She's got nearly twice as many subs as I've got in a year. Wow. Uh, shows how much people love the stuff that she does. Um, <laughs> she's really sweet and nice and everything. Um, she has created a tag to celebrate her first year on YouTube and it is a being a nail polish youtuber tag and whilst nail polish is not the 100% thing that I do on my channel because I do lots of different things um, it is a fairly big part of what I do and what I'm interested in so I thought I would do her tag um, she didn't actually tag me but she said I could do it if I wanted to so um, so uh, there are 10 questions and if you're wondering what I'm doing I'm looking at my phone which is where the questions are um, is on my phone I'm on her video, just reading them off there. So, the first question is, what is the best part about being a nail polish YouTuber? Uh, first and foremost is obviously the other people that you meet, the other people who are obsessed with nail polish that you get to interact with and talk to and um, who enable you and feed your addiction on a fairly regular basis um, and also help you avoid... Um, polishes and formulas and stuff that might not actually be suitable for you which is always really really nice um, you know often I have seen a nail polish that I've thought I really really want that nail polish and then I have watched somebody else watching it and I thought I don't think so which has actually saved me quite a lot of money in some cases in other cases uh, not so much because there are some nail polish which are just they're on my to have list at some point but they're kind of pricier which is a bugger. The other part about that is good about being a nail polish YouTuber is it kind of gives you an excuse to buy nail polishes because I need it for a video. I've got to do a new video. Uh, which is why I have like nearly a thousand nail polishes. And no intention of de-stashing, I'm sorry. I just can't do it. The second question is what is the worst part about being a nail polish YouTuber? Um, sort of like in the first one, it's the fact that it's kind of expensive. Um, and there's sort of almost an oblig, you feel almost obliged to buy new pol new polish all the time to have something to show your subscribers that's new and interesting or that they might be interested in. Um, but I'm kind of, most of my nail polish is a little bit older. Um, I'm starting to think more about doing nail art type videos rather than just looking at different nail polishes um, but I've still got a lot of my collection to um, compare um, I've only done like three colors out of my collection <laughs> um, yeah there's, there's so much nail polish but that's one of the worst things is that there's you kind of feel like you need to be new and up to date all the time which can be like almost impossible when you don't have the budget for it um, and also it does take a lot of time, particularly if you're doing swatch type videos where um, like you're talking and then you're doing a swatch and you've got to like edit in between. The editing process can be actually quite long and tedious and um, that's why I tend to do videos where I don't have to do too much editing a lot of the time because it is just time consuming and because I have um, mental health issues I don't always have the motivation or the um, drive to actually do that. So, but. It's still fun, it just can be a lot of hard work sometimes. Uh, number three, what are your favourite videos to film? Um, the I like tag videos, I like doing tag videos. Um, the one tag video I really enjoyed filming, even though it was really tedious to actually edit, and that was um, one where I actually showed swatches of, me, of my nail polishes um, that fit the tag in between me like talking to the camera and I actually really enjoyed filming it and the different parts of it. It was just kind of difficult to put together. Um, I do quite like filming swatches. Um, I'm still working out how to do that and I would really like to film more um, nail art type videos. It's just trying to get the setup to work the way that I want it to so it looks right. Uh, a new nail polish YouTube channel that you enjoy watching. Uh, 
Um, a new to me one uh, would probably be uh, Lisa Hendy. Um, I didn't know of her until I did an Instagram, YouTube crossover like collab thing. I didn't actually know her, like hadn't actually watched any of her videos. Um, that's one of the good reasons to do collabs. That's the other kind of video I like doing is collab videos, is that you can sometimes meet new people and a lot of the newer people that are on my feed that are nail polish related are because of that. Um, so yeah, like Lisa Hendy and um, Mrs. Cronal, like they were both ones that I met via Instagram pretty much rather than um, organically on YouTube. I will leave both of them linked down below in case you don't know who I'm talking about. Uh, what do your family and friends think of you being a new nail polish YouTuber? Um, My 16 year old just said good for you. <laughs> my family is very supportive of my YouTube thing and my nail polish thing. Um, my partner is a little bit of an enabler. Oh. <laughs> he puts up with it quite a lot. Um, and like when I do nail art and stuff like that, he's always like, oh my god, that's like really cool. Or he's like, oh, I don't know about that one. But they were like, all of them are like super supportive. Um, most of my friends, like real life friends, they don't even watch YouTube. So they don't necessarily watch me on YouTube. Um, I don't know what they think about it. I think they just think it's really weird. Like, why would you want to be a YouTuber? And a lot of them think my nail policy obsession is kind of strange. Although the ones who benefit because I do their nails all the time, they don't complain so much. So there you go. Um, a memorable moment on your channel. Uh, for, I honestly haven't had like a lot of them, I mean although I've been on YouTube for <coughs> three years now, my channel is actually pretty small, um, and there are not a lot of like super duper memorable moments on my channel, <laughs> not a lot of really cool stuff has happened and you know all of the comments I get are like super nice and nobody's been like rude or uh, anything like that. Um, yeah, Jen's generally really nice interactions with people. Um, yeah, I'm still waiting for that, like, super memorable thing to happen. You know, like Robin Moses to, like, notice me or something like that. <laughs> uh, number seven, what are your plans for your channel? Uh, pretty much more of the same. Um, you know, doing the same kind of things I have been doing, like going through my collection and comparing it, um, doing more of the nail arty type videos, um, yeah, just because that's what I like doing, I like doing nail art, um, and yeah, just uh, information for other people on things to look out for, or how to do certain things, and stuff like that, I like to help people out, basically, um, and maybe if I can actually get to 500 subscribers, I might actually do a giveaway too, which would probably be a lot of like nail arty type stuff, so that's something to consider. So the next three questions are actually about nail polish, not about being a nail polish YouTuber, because Claire knows us people. So it's uh, what's on your nails today? Okay, this is this is fun. So on this nail, I actually have um, an iridescent glitter. This is called Microfine glitter in laser silver um, underneath a layer of acrylic. My thumbs are never the same as my other ones. Um, this is a purple nail polish from gel nail polish from Born Pretty Store with um, a little bit of uh, oily shine in gel for version over the top of it. My thumbs are, because I don't ever show my thumbs in photos, they never look the same. This hand has nothing but acrylic, clear acrylic on it and the seal for the acrylic. This, <laughs> this hand has, um, it was just in a previous video, I was just mucking around so much. Uh, so on the little finger we have Essence Icy Ice, uh, Essence Miss Frost, whoops, Miss Frost on that finger. These are both matte nail polishes. Um, Let It Glow 
on that finger, which is a luminous, like iridescent, and luminosi, also from Essence. So um, that was in my other video. <laughs> That's what I have in my nails today. Not very interesting. Um, about three hours ago, I had elephants' feet on this hand for a nail art challenge thing. Uh, number nine, a brand that's impressing you right now. Um, well, today, just today, these two from Essence actually really impressed me. They dried down quite quickly, these two. Um, they're matte. This is only one coat. If I could get it to focus on my nails and not my face. I guess there we go. Um, this is just one coat, and that's and the, I haven't put a matte top coat or anything on them. That's how they dry down, and I really like that. And they're smooth; they're not textured in any kind of way. I'm actually really impressed by that. So, um, yeah, I don't know if you can get them overseas, but these are the Winter Glow um, icy matte. Our polishes. Um, Essence often surprises me and impresses me because they're actually really, really good quality considering the actual price of them. They're not the cheapest nail polish, but they are actually really good. The other one is um, in Australia is Ultra 3. Best off to buy them from the Ultra 3 website because then they're only like $1.79 a bottle most of the time. Um, and they are really, really good nail polish. Some people might think they're like kitty nail polish, but they're actually really good nail polish. Um, and number 10, what do you think of your current collection as a whole? <laughs> uh, uh, um. <laughs> I think my collection has holes in it. My channel is really bad. I have like nearly a thousand nail polishes. But there are still colours that I don't really have. Um, but I'm getting better at not buying new nail polish um, because... Like, although I just did a haul that had like 10 nail polishes in it. I'm actually a lot better than I was. I won't buy things just because they're on sale. I have to actually like the ones that are on sale. So I have actually walked away from ones that are on sale because I didn't, like, I know I don't like the brand or the formula or um, I know it's not a colour that appeals to me. I'm getting much better about not doing that. But because I do so much nail art, Colour is not actually an issue because I can use pretty much any colour in nail art in some kind of way. Um, at the moment, because my focus is on my Project Polish Mini Editions, like I'm trying to use up all my minis, um, the rest of my nail polish collection is getting a little bit neglected, but it's making me more aware of the types of formulas that I like um, and the ones that I'd like to like not buy anymore. Um, and, yeah, so... My collection could probably be smaller. It would be virtually impossible for me to wear every single nail polish that's in my collection in my lifetime. Um, but I do have a daughter who is somewhat interested in that kind of stuff. And although I've already given her a bunch of my older nail polishes, there's a you know there's a pretty good chance that she's going to become more and more interested and want to use more and more nail polish over time, which I'm fine with. Plus, I do do other people's nails. Um, I don't get to paint people's nails and I do designs on people's nails maybe as much as I would like to do, especially with like normal nail polish. But if I was doing more than that, I more of that, I'd probably go through nail polish a little bit faster. Um, so then, you know, maybe I wouldn't feel quite so guilty about having a collection that is probably worth several thousand dollars just kind of sitting next to me all the time. But it makes me feel good when I look at it. When I look at this collection of all this nail polish, it's just, they're all so gorgeous and the colours and the finishes and I just love nail polish. So, yeah. Um, I'm sure my collection could be smaller. It could also be a lot bigger. Um, but I'm kind of happy with about where it is right now. I don't think I want to get it too much bigger because otherwise I would have a serious storage issue. Um, I currently sort of have enough space for my collection. Um, if it got too much bigger, that would be a bit of a problem. So, yeah. Uh, so that is the... Uh, I forgot what it was called. Mm -hmm. uh, let me just open up my phone again. Uh, 
Uh, that is the Bing and Nail Polish YouTuber tag, which was started by Claire Gray. So I will link Claire Gray down below, and I will link the other people that I mentioned, uh, Lisa Hendy and Mrs. Cronel, down below as well, if you want to go check those people's out. Uh, leave me a thumbs up if you like tag videos. If you want to subscribe, click the button down there. Click the little bell next to it so you get notifications when I upload new videos. And leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments, and I'll see you in my next video. Stay yeah.